Hi everyone, Dr. Scott Thero, board certified chiropractic neurologist and founder and owner of Functional Restoration, my brain-based rehabilitation practice, here with two minutes on concussion. Now, you all know the common signs and symptoms of concussion syndromes. Most often, it is some cognitive difficulty. You may notice that your attention and your memory systems don't work as well. Oftentimes, people's personalities have changed and they've become more moody. Sometimes that moodiness is depression, sometimes that moodiness is more anxiousness. And it can be dramatic in certain cases. People are typically tired and fatigable. And with that, we start to ask about sleep patterns, and sleep patterns have often changed. Either, Doc, I'm sleeping 10 to 12 hours a night and I'm still tired, or I can't sleep worth a darn anymore, and I'm waking up all the time and it's very, very frustrating. Well, what does all this mean? Because we've seen patients over many years now that have been evaluated medically, whether in a hospital system or whether in a concussion clinic, and told, just wait, it will get better. And personally, when these patients come to me, I think that's unacceptable. I want to give you new tools and new ideas on how you can get better even quicker than just waiting. And there are three things that we can start with right away. The first is a really great chiropractic and orthopedic examination. If you're still hurting and having headaches, let's make sure that these different types of headaches aren't coming from tension headaches with your neck and your occiput. Second, we need to metabolically figure out how to fuel you. These are neurotransmitter tests, and you've heard me talk about these before. Neurotransmitter tests are urinary tests that can look at different levels of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and GABA and dopamine and adrenaline. Why is that important? It's important because after you've been in a head injury, oftentimes you're in a fight or flight stress response, right? And your adrenal system works very hard to help give you energy just simply to survive, and that makes good sense. But as symptoms go on for months and sometimes even years, these systems start to fatigue. So if we can have you do a urine neurotransmitter test and a four-point saliva cortisol test, we can figure out metabolically exactly where to help you at this moment in time with natural supplements to bring you back into balance. The third thing that we need to do is brain-based rehabilitation. We need to actually, upon examination, figure out are you having a hard time integrating frontal, parietal, temporal, occipital, and cerebellum systems? And when we can look at these with different aspects of examination, with your eyes, with coordination, with balance, with muscle tone, and come up with specific rehabilitation plans for you for brain-based exercises at a rate that helps you feel better but doesn't ultimately fatigue you and make your symptoms worse, you've got a real one, two, three punch. I hope that gives you three great things that you can start to think about for post-concussive syndromes. I'm Dr. Scott Thero. Thanks for tuning in for two minutes today. Take care.